Like a waterfall in slow motion Hi, I'm Yuha and I'm a hockey player here at USC. I will be going through some fixed concepts and examples with you this semester. And remember, just like on the ice, there's no such thing as luck in physics. Just keep your head up and work hard. Here we have a quite straightforward problem of constant acceleration. So we have a motorcyclist who uh, accelerates at the constant rate of 4 meters per second squared for a certain amount of time. And uh, in the first part, we would like to know, or we would like to find his position and velocity when two seconds have elapsed. So throughout this problem, we can uh, use this collection of formulas that you see here on the right hand side. And it's just a matter of picking the correct one. So finding his position. And uh, of course, we will look at the second row first, because that's exactly what it is. Now, the only question is, do we have all the necessary uh, information to use that? So do we know initial position x0? Yes, it's 5 meters. Do we know the initial velocity? Yes, it's 15 meters per second. And time is 2 seconds. We also know the acceleration. So we know all the quantities required for this, so we can go ahead and just evaluate x at 2 seconds. So x equals x0 plus v0. I'll drop the x subscript for now because it's evident that we are on the x-axis. Half a t squared. So x0 initial position is uh, 5 meters from the city limit signpost. Initial velocity moving east to the right that is by 15 meters per second squared. Oh, 15 meters per second and the uh, important thing to realize here that our x-axis is positive in that way so x points to the right so when we're heading east we have positive sign on the velocity and time elapses two seconds. Half times acceleration that's four meters per second squared times times squared two second squared. And with a little bit of help from calculator or you can do it in your head pretty easily as well we get 43 meters. So we are 43 meters from the signpost at the two seconds. And then what about the velocity? So velocity. Again we resort here. So velocity is for the first formula. Do we know initial velocity? Yes. And we know acceleration and time. So we can just go ahead and use that. So v0 plus acceleration times time, initial velocity 50 meters per second plus acceleration times elapsed time, 4 meters per second squared times 2 seconds, so that's 8 plus 15, that's 23, and uh, check the units, meters per second, seconds cancel the other seconds, so we also get meters per second there, so we're consistent. And then part B, where is he when his velocity is 25 meters per second? So we don't know anything about the time. So of all these formulas, we have to use the one that doesn't have time involved. And as we can see, we are on this row. So uh, we have position that we want to evaluate. And uh, we know something about the velocity and acceleration, but we don't need the information of time, so we'll have to use this one. So go ahead, I'll drop the uh, subscript again, so v squared is v0 squared plus 2 times the acceleration times x minus x initial. And uh, we'll arrange to solve for the x, so v squared minus v0 squared equals 2a x minus x0 
and uh, bring the 2a to the other side, divide by it, v squared minus v0 squared, 2a is x minus x0, and then x becomes the initial position plus v squared minus v0 squared divided by 2a. Initial position 5 meters and then the, uh, the rest v squared is the current velocity squared minus initial velocity squared and divided by 2 times the acceleration which is 4 meters per second squared and uh, we get 55 meters.